So we're excited to introduce a Jaguar XJ13, which is a very, very rare car. This is actually a replica of the only XJ13 that was ever produced, which is actually still owned by Jaguar. Uh, so this is a very faithful reproduction of the car. It's um, an amazing thing. It's a very, very beautiful car, which is powered by a 6-litre V12 Jaguar engine. And the car was originally designed and developed in the 60s to compete in the Le Mans uh, races uh, to beat the, the Fords and the uh, Ferraris that were competing at the time. The XJ13 was never actually used in anger because the regulations changed around that sort of time, uh, which meant that uh, the car was no longer compatible with the regulations. So Jaguar only ever made one car. And it's worth reading the history on the car that Jaguar owned because it was actually very, very badly damaged by Norman Dewis, the, the Jaguar test driver at the time. He nearly died in the car. And Jaguar recreated, rebuilt the car originally um, to do further analysis and further testing on. And Norman Dewis uh, escaped with only minor cuts and bruises, which is amazing. This car join us, joins us for fundamentally some cooling issues, engine cooling issues. The car's overheating and there's something wrong somewhere within the cooling system that means that uh, it's getting too hot. So we've got to start um, going through the whole cooling system and engine to understand what's happening and why it's overheating.